All right, greetings guys. Welcome to White Fucking Plays. Today is a little bit different than the, the standard game reviews or let's plays. Um, this is Dungeon Alchemist. This was funded in three hours apparently on Kickstarter. This is an AI powered map making software. Uh, it's still in early access, uh, but I thought we'd jump in and just see what it's all about and let you guys know what you can do in this program. Um, I think it's 65 Australian dollars, so it's a decent price point. Um, so you, but you are getting quite a lot in this package. So yeah, let's go through. So normally you'd make a new map first. You can either do a print, um, so you could put it to A4 paper or an A2 paper, um, etc., etc., and then you could print it out afterwards and use it as a um, a map for your friends when you come over and play D and D, or you can do a digital version, uh, and this can be saved out for uh, the virtual tabletops on um, online, or you can just make a little three D one to take pictures of, etc. So we're going to do a digital. Uh, we're going to go. You've got a whole lot of different areas that you can pick from. If we just quickly like generate something, so you can see behind me, we've got this this jungle. So if we um, go to let's say the desert. You can have vegetation on or off, dense growth. You can make it flat or you can have dunes. Let's go dunes. Let's make it a 30 by 30 square. No water and the room placement is on water level. Let's try that. So you can see what it's done automatically for you. We're in a tropical desert. Um, lush desert, but it's got dunes going through this and you could, you could quickly... Um, Changes have no de uh, no vegetation and dunes. And then that could be a starting point to place things in. But uh, we're going to go for uh, a 20 by 30 block of land. And we're going to go for bad lands. Uh, flat, no vegetation and water level. All right, let's start with this. This is our start. What I'm, gonna, what I'm thinking of doing, just doing a standard like underground dungeon. That's going to be one of the typical things that people want to do with these things. So I'm thinking maybe we've got um, maybe under a house or something. You've got a little a little section where people are buried, and then it's got like a cult invaded. It's actually a cult's hideout underneath, which is uh, unexpected as part of a campaign or something. So what we need to do is make some rooms. So you can pick between a whole lot of different types of rooms. You can do village, tavern, mansion, festival, desert. So we can, um, we can kind of show you what, should you put house? We can show you what this um, is kind of like. Let's do alchemist room lab laboratory first. So let's say we've got a six by six. Where's that? Uh, six by six. And then you just click tick. And then it automatically creates this room for you, which is pretty amazing. Uh, and it does, put doors in, windows, uh, and then you've got the whole, whole place. And then you can always go through by clicking this one here, objects, and move things around, scale them to make them a bit smaller. Uh, you can rotate them. Now, default is on mouse wheel for turning. I would recommend going into settings, controls, and make it shift plus mouse wheel. So I just I, I like to zoom in and out to look at a piece as I'm trying to place it. I'll just quickly go through settings and just check everything else. So we've got a grid. So you can make this either hexagon or uh, standard squares. So that's kind of cool. You can change the color and how bright it is. So you can see what while you're making or afterwards for when you're playing on the tabletop. Um, I quite like just this black. And I'm using squares, and you can always turn it off if you want as well. Awesome. First person mouse sensitivity. So you can actually go into these worlds as um, in a cinematic mode. You can place an actual character down. So let's say, I don't know, we're going to get a, well, actually, we should get a cultist that works with our uh, thing here. But anyway, you if you want, you can jump in as the person and walk around. You can open the door walk in and have a look at what's going on in this room so you can always test your dungeons out it's kind of cool all right so 
and our little guy stays there we'll let him out the way all right so that's kind of the standard stuff you can always go into these rooms and edit them so let's say so that's with the draw room and this button we can change it to a castle and it's an armory now so you can see it automatically creates that got suits of armor weapons all ready to go very cool and you can change dungeon cell whatever you'd like you can change the flooring if you want this to have pavers you can quickly do that i like the little animations and if you want to take away the windows you can also do that very very um large options available let's say we want a big door on this side just go to doors they're all quite nicely um cataloged as well and there's our there's our cool door we can change lights we can go through that as well you can change the brightness of the lights and the color or you can just turn them off but still have them sitting there all right so let's carry on with our dungeon plan here actually let's make it a five i think we have to edit the room edit the shape take that out make it a five by five because that'll just let us do a single room through here there's a little corridor actually we should make it what are we what are we working with here a crypt or something let's make it a crypt um and then this one can be like a great hall or something we'll make that a five by five too nice and then maybe we can have like a secret room here that you can only get if you use something on the wall or solve something and that could be part of the the map so let's do that let's do a little room here that can house something in it be pretty cool maybe maybe actually make that one room a little bit bigger there this could be our little a secret room oh let's uh click that and we'll remove the door because it's not very secret at the moment all right let's um let's go for what am i thinking what am i thinking actually i'm just going to change things on the fly as i go let's get this room edit the shape make it one bigger because then we can have a double door through here move this one over across here and there a bit more room to do something in the in here as a fight or something all right now we'll grab some another corridor there and then we can have a, a corridor coming maybe across here and we're going to add to that and we'll go i don't know quite far down here and then maybe we'll have like a cavern here and i'll show you how that kind of works as well so that should be kind of kind of cool we've got a cool setup here let's do one more room here maybe like their research area that could be kind of cool so maybe uh, a library where is a library armory brewery coach entrance kitchen rookery stables throwing room treasury We've got to have some type of library or something maybe an alchemist would have a library here we go library so we'll do like a kind of a library in here there that's kind of cool maybe we'll line a whole lot of bookcases along here that's kind of cool all right i'm happy with that not happy with all these windows and everything but we'll sort all that out okay and then we'll have kind of a i don't know maybe a an altar or something in here let's see what we can do with that so let's go with the terrain tool now this is a whole other area that you can work with you can raise terrain you can lower it you can flatten stuff and smooth it or clear terrain so let's um what i quite like to do what i've found out because 
Actually, let's just delete a whole lot of these windows first. And actually, actually, another thing you can do while creating these rooms, let's just jump to that. Alchemist library, you can go into these settings here and let's say we don't want any windows or doors. And then you can create the, the room again. And it will get rid of all those windows. Bam, for you. Still creates a door. Maybe it was from this room. Um, or else you can just go through and delete the doors. Okay, so let's let's do this area here. Kind of get the whole thing planned out first. Let's raise. Yes, yeah, so what I was saying is you can. What I quite like to do is raise these up to a certain level. Try and get it the same kind of height as that. We can put up the strength here. Oops, let's do it properly. And what you can kind of do is you can have it kind of make a ground around it. You don't have to do this, of course. But I quite like how it looks. I'm just going to do this really quick. It's kind of like now it's underground and this is kind of like what's been built under there. So let's kind of make a little uh, cavern around here. This can be where our sacrificial or something kind of cult does its rituals. Uh, and then we'll need a little bit more flatness in here. So we can get in here. Maybe we can have a little kind of lake with an island in the middle or something. That could be kind of cool. Let's give that a go. So we can paint different textures as well. Um, so for the outside area, I quite like this dark black here because it kind of nice contrast to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the map. So we'll uh, paint this everywhere first. Go bam. And then we will uh, change what we're doing for in this other section. All right, looking good, looking good. I like it. All right, so then in here we want some water. We do not want it that big. And let's half strength, I guess. And then we'll have like a pool of water around the edge here. something like that maybe a bit deeper over the side and then we'll go all the way around maybe we can have like a bridge across here or something that you get to the island by see if that works you can always change things as you go there we go and maybe we'll just make it a little bit more natural looking by kind of making a few ridges or something around here. Raise that up a little bit. Lower this. Just to make it look a bit more like a underground cavern-y thing. Okay, and maybe we'll make a little raised area here or something. Well, not that strong. We can always flatten it wherever we want. Where they kind of step up to their diet, their uh, altar or something. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, let's give them. We'll we'll work. We'll work. From room to room so that's kind of our basic setup i guess there so we're pretty happy with that now let's start going from the start so we're looking at kind of a what um a burial tomb or something so let's um have a look what we've got for that um so let's change this to crypt there well that's perfect 
Let's move this somewhere around here. It'd be cool to have a shift tool so it rotates in a specific amount. And there are a few things that I'll probably comment on along the way that I think should be improved, like or could be improved that might work, but we'll work that out. So we've got a little dice there. This is a little prayer thing. All right, I'm going to delete this door because we don't need that. Let's get some like staircase. The, cool, this, the search is really cool. You can search for anything you'd like. Uh, and then you can just go down a list. There's so many different objects, which is really, really cool. Don't know if you can create your own objects. I don't think you can. Um, that might be something that could be coming later. Again, this is all early access stuff. So maybe you come down into the crypt and let's, let's put this on the side. Rotate that. Has it got a front to it? That one looks better. All right, we'll put this against the wall there. You can also turn collisions off. You can't go into walls or anything completely, but you can turn collisions off. You want to put rocks and stuff around. You can work with that. What's this? A little uh, holy water basin. That could be next to this side. Just destroy the light. All right, well, let's put this. Oh, we got two of them. We don't need two. Just destroyed both lights. It does have a nice undo. So if we want those two torches, which, don't, which do look pretty cool there. You can do that. Let's do a little basin here where you can wash your hands before you do your prayer. Uh, and then we've got, oh, this is actually water. Okay. Fair enough. Then maybe we can have, oh, where should we put this then? There we go. And then maybe we have like two braziers on the floor here. Uh, so you can go into lights. Got braziers. Look good. These ones. This one. This one looks quite good. Put two of these in here. And then what would make this like a little hint that this is a cult? Let's uh, throw a knife in here. Oh, what looks like a ceremonial knife. Here we go. Let's do this. Rotate it. It's actually not that nice a place. All right, now we change this door to something a bit more solid. Uh, so we want a single door. What would look good here? Thinking like a metal door. Here we go. A blast door. That looks kind of cool. You have to have a secret key or something to unlock it. The graphics are pretty cool in this. I like it. All right, and then we can do... This should probably be... Just an open door then. If you get past this part, you're fine. Um, work well. We need kind of a stone. Stone doorway. That looks okay-ish. Must, there must be a stone one though. Do, 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 do. Mm, brick. I guess this will do. That'll do. All right, so that's opening into this where we've got uh, a hallway here which we could have a fight in. Uh, let's move some skulls around. And we can improve this a bit later. Then we've got a double door here, and maybe it's... Can we have double doors in this? Yeah. Hmm. What are we thinking here? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Have some locks in there, and then another one there. Keep it all the same themed. You can see through them, though. Is it a crypt? If we go for a crypt, we go completely different. Change all the walls. All right, let's make it, let's make it turn into like it's crypt. And that's their main door there. So if we're doing that, we want to change the walls. Um, and that's pretty easy to do as well. We just go bam. 
can change all the walls. So let's do this. All right, so it goes into this nice place to suddenly you're in a crypt. And bad things that happen. Well, let's change both sides. That looks way better. So with my crazy wall things, it's a bit hard to change these. There we go. And this side. All right, we're looking pretty good now. So we can probably change these doors to an opening. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it's got some doors in here too. Oh, it makes it into an arcade. That's kind of cool. There's so many different things they have in this thing. We just need a, a single, a single door that's got rocks in it. These are all doubles. That'll do still. That'll do still. All right. So we've got that as our main area there. So we've got the secret room here. So let's um, destroy this door. And then let's put like a, a handle or something. Um, here we go. Let's say this is a little knocker. And this is put against the wall here. Or on one of these things. Now we'll put it against the wall. And if someone sees that, you won't see it from the top though, but we'll do something with that. And then we'll put the same knocker on this side so you can get out still. And then it opens a door here. And maybe this could be a secret lab. So let's uh, look at that. So let's make this into an alchemist laboratory, which was laboratory. Ooh. Dissection room. Wouldn't be too bad. We'll just keep, we can, and you can rotate the room to see if you can get something else here. Yeah, this would be good. This kind of thing. And then his writing desk. We'll change the flooring. All right, not too bad. Let's remove the doors again. Change it back to the crypt. Change the floor to a dark floor. Looking pretty good there. Let's get this down a bit. Let's maybe get a cool statue or something. That hand looks kind of cool. Let's get a cool statue. What would look good in this area? Here we go. This could be what their idol is or something. Looks kind of cool. What do we got here? This could be... All right, so that's where the door is. And you could keep it that color. No, it's a bit too obvious, isn't it? Uh, let's change that back again. Okay. Anyway, so the door would be here that you could open. We need to put the other handle back in here. Maybe the writing desk needs to be against the wall like that. It can snap if you want it to. There. Put some cool lighting in here. Let's get some lights going. What do we want? Wall lights. Wall lights. Do these weird looking ones. Make them green or something. Get rid of that. One over here. One over his writing desk. Close to. That'd be fine. Alright, let's make them all green.
Find that light out. And you can also change the, the daylight in here. So we can go make it all dark and gloomy. And we'll add one more of these. You can always duplicate stuff that you've made, which is really cool. There we go. There's this kind of weird lab that he's got going. That's a secret area. We should put a little chest in here. Here we go. So he's got this cool chest in here that will give you an item or something, but you have to fight him or his monster that he's created. Maybe this comes alive. All right, cool. So then we've got the library over here. Let's put a whole lot of bookshelves along one edge. Oh, they're not snapping. There we go. It's kind of what the libraries have, isn't it? Stacks of books. This one's in the way. All right, is that a door? It is a door. All right, that's good. And then we want like a desk in here. Here we go. We've got a desk already. Duplicate one of these. That's cool. It puts new things on the desk when you duplicate. That's crazy cool. So we've got like three scholars that are writing out stuff and maybe a few more bookcases along this edge. What is that? I don't know. All right, and we'll put some lights in here as well. Maybe a brazier in the middle here. We'll take away one more of these things here. Some lights, but these are, we want these to be braziers instead. Maybe like that, delete that one. It should be pretty cool. We've got the big candelabras at the end here. Make that a bit brighter. And then we've got two gas lamps on this side. All right. Should be okay. We've got like scrolls that have fallen down. There's our little library area. All right, pretty happy with that. So we've got our area there, area there, area there. Then we've got a hallway that comes through here. We should just do some uh, lamps across here. Maybe change the tone in here a bit. Would you have purple though? Need something like that. Just to light up different areas. Not sure. We're just playing around. Another locker there. That's all right. We'll leave that. The false hearing. All right. Now we have an opening here. What is this? That's a three opening. Gosh. Do we just go straight in? Open. Why not? All right. And then let's get a bridge in here. We have to come out of this. We need to go into here. Bridges, all sorts of stuff, bit big. That looks good to me. Let's spin it around. I guess it looks a bit odd. That looks massive. I think that's, a, that's okay. Get the wooden one. Because it's in a cave. It's what they've, what they've got. Okay, so it opens up into this room here now. Let's add a bit of color to the terrain here. Make this kind of a big solid stone area. Something like that. I like it. And maybe we can do a little bit of gradient stuff along the edge here it's a bit strong 
put down the strength but by a lot. Does that work? Yeah, that kind of works. Just to give it some height, I guess. We're losing it here for some reason. Just to make it look a bit better from afar up. Really doesn't want me to do anything here. There we go. Why can't... It doesn't want me to go over the top of things. Anyway. Just to make it look a bit more... Looks like I have to go over with something else. And then I can go over with what I want. Uh, don't know. Not sure, but anyway. We'll do something like that. At least it looks a little bit more leveled there from afar. Guess we'll put the strength up and see if that does help. It does help. All right, and what can we put in here? What are, what are they going with? Let's do uh, like a pit. A small pit. Oh, here we go. Or oh, we could have it in the water. All right, let's have a look, see if this will work. Let's push, let's flatten this whole area. So it's in the water. Just have the smallest a bit out there. Push this out. Maybe they can be on the edge where they are. Uh... Let's lower this a little bit more. And then flatten it. Let's see if it'll fit in here. We want it to be there but in the water. So we're going to have to push everything back a little bit more. It'll fit there, we just want it lower. Alright, we're taking up a lot of room here, but that's alright, that's alright, this will be cool. Let's see if that'll work there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that too deep? Let's raise it up the slightest bit more. Oh, just a bit more, just like that. Let's see if that's too high. No, that's pretty cool. Let's do something like that. And this is kind of like the creature that they, uh, I don't know how it gets out of here. Maybe that's to stop it getting out. But it kind of like, look at them. So it doesn't destroy them. Alright, that's cool. That's what they're gonna worship here. Flatten this terrain. All right, and then we want kind of an altar. Is it altar? Is it yeah, altar? Um, same one at the front. Maybe this kind of thing. All right, I like that. Then. What else do we want to do? So we're now we're going to make this terrain look kind of undergroundy. So let's have some mushrooms. Yeah, these look kind of cool. Maybe I'll uh, I'll spruce this area up a little bit to make it look a bit uh, more cave-like for you guys. See what you think.
I don't know, something like that maybe. There we go. Bit of a, a cave coldest area. We could improve this more, but it's fine. So there we go, guys. There's a kind of a, an overview of what you could do with this map making tool. Uh, then we've got all these cool things here. We can change the light, which direction we want it to go in. Um, what are we thinking? Maybe something like that and change the darkness. We want to be able to see it in the actual tutorial though. We can change the direction. Something like that dark, but not too dark. I guess it's a bit too dark because we can't see in here very well. We could try and put another light in over here somewhere. Oh, because the collision's off. That's why it's so difficult to uh, place. Let's do that. Let's brighten up some of these lights. And then one more across here. There we go. It's a bit brighter in there now. Very yellow. Why does that one look? Oh, it's just because it's bright, yeah. That's all right. That looks all right. That looks all right. And then that is seeable. These are fine. Bit of purple. We need one in here, just a standard light. Okay. So there we go. So if but like this is what you would happy with, um, and you wanted to print this out, what you do is you go down across to export. Gives you a whole lot of different options in here, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can change the way that things look. So this, see the post down here, I guess. You can see that this is more top down. Um, whereas this is a bit more spread out. So if you're actually using it as a battle map, it's probably better to do the limited perspective. You can change to Foundry Export, Fantasy Grounds Export, Roll20 Export, Universal Export image only just a jpeg or a print export so they're pretty cool so you can do a whole lot of different options there you can render lights in image or image and export to vtt which is probably definitely the default because then you can have the lights work in your online programs change the quality up to 300 uh, export size so this will do like normal borders big border around it or Probably that's better just to grab it all in the frame. Then you can change here how your squares things look. Um, I definitely kind of think black's kind of a nice, just a subtle. Or you can print a grayscale if you'd like, if like as well. So very cool. The like to export. All right, cool. So there we go. That's a little preview of this. So what were some of my takebacks, I guess? Like, Let's open another map that I've got. All right, so let's have a look at this map here that I've got, uh, that I started making. Uh, so one thing that's a bit tricky is you can't build, I guess, housing on different levels. So if you wanted a little shack down here for some reason, uh, and you draw it here, it builds up to a certain point, which you pick at the start you want it on a mountain a plateau or on flat ground so you can't actually build like multi-story maps where you've got like a little um house down below here and then a big mansion at the top so that's a, a bit of a limitation there the other limitation is uh let's say you wanted to make a kind of a jetty um so if we we let's have a look at wood and like this isn't really a jetty it looks a bit odd it looks like a bridge um there was something down here that kind of looked like a jetty which is kind of cool and i was going to try and use that um i think it was this one here i was going to use this as a jetty but you can't you can't push it down in the z axis i guess so i'm like oh that'd be good i'll just push it down but there's no way to go down in the z axis i wonder if that is a possibility that could be added because you could do a lot of good stuff with that and you can use a lot of different tiles to create something something different um if you could push stuff down like you don't want this rock shutting up that much you want to push it down into the z-axis not sure why that is not done it might be a bit difficult not sure 
Um, a few other good points is another a few things that you can do. You can actually draw paint stuff. So if you want to make a forest quickly, you can um, you can do that, and the AI will quickly generate stuff. It will also put little uh, mushrooms down and other things which is very, very handy if you want to make something really quick. Something else you can do here is Hero Forge. You can import your Hero Forge characters in, um, which is kind of cool. And so you can actually place them in the map as well, which is kind of cool if you had a campaign going and you had your characters. And it just the a lot of quality of life stuff that it gives you is is crazy when you start thinking about it. Like it just puts these onto the table instantly. Um, it does give you some limitations with that as well, but it just makes things so much easier. And if you put it on the table and you move the table, it, it moves the object as well. That's, you know, it's, it's doing some pretty cool stuff. It's scaling it at the same time. Uh, you can turn them off and on easily. Uh, you can also color objects as well. Uh, not all of them can be colored, but um, some of them can. Like this one can't be, you can color the couch though, change that. So yeah, some really easy to use stuff very very cool little program so yeah check it out for yourself if you want uh, i'll put the link in the description but there we go dungeon alchemist thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this make sure you like and subscribe it really helps me out and i'll see you in the next video white falcon out